Hi everyone, my name is Norman. I run the blog nimbleneedles.com and today I want to show you how to knit the double stocking knit stitch. The double stocking knit stitch is a lovely reversible pattern. It's very soft and thick and unlike standard stocking knit stitch it doesn't curl at the edges and it's maybe even easier to knit. This makes it the perfect pattern for scarves and other flat beginner projects. Let's show you how to knit it. So here we got a swatch in plain stock knit stitch and this is double stock knit stitch. As you can see it looks very very similar, doesn't it? But as you can also see this one curls on the edges and here there's no curling and it's reversible. You achieve this effect by knitting each row double with slipped stitches. While you can cast on any number of stitches, it's easiest if you cast on an even number of stitches. The repeat is knit one and then slip one pearlwise with yarn in front across all rows. Let's show you. So it's knit one stitch and then bring the yarn to the front and slip one stitch purlwise. Bring the yarn to the back again, knit one. Bring the yarn to the front again, slip one purlwise. Bring the yarn to the back again, knit one. Bring the yarn to the front again, slip one purlwise. Knit one, slip one purlwise. Knit one, slip one purlwise, knit. It's really, really that simple. And the reason why you're bringing the yarn to the front as you slip one is simple. If you were to keep it in the back as you normally would, let me show you, then you would be creating a little loop here around the base of this knit stitch. But we want this to look like plain stock knit stitch, so that's why you need to bring it to the front. So it lays on top of this already existing little purple. And if you cast on an odd number of stitches, then there's an easy way to memorize the repeat as well. You always need to slip those stitches with the yarn in front where you have this little purple. And if you see a knit stitch with the V down here, you have to knit it. And it's always the same no matter if you're on the right or the wrong side. Always slip the little stitches with the pearl bump with the yarn in front and knit those with a V here. You can also knit the double stocking knit stitch in the round. This will be a tiny bit more complicated but quite manageable as well. You'll knit the first round just like before. So it's knit one stitch and then slip one pearlwise, knit one slip one pearlwise, knit one, slip one pearlwise. But in the second round you need to take care. Here you need to slip every knit stitch uh, with the pearlwise with yarn in, uh, in the back and then you need to bring the yarn to the front and purl one stitch. Bring the yarn to the back again, slip one stitch, Bring the yarn to the front, purl one. Bring the yarn to the back, slip one. Bring the yarn to the front and purl one. And if you alternate these two rounds, you create a stocking knit stitch in the round. Because it's quite easy to get confused when you're knitting the double stocking knit stitch in the round, I recommend you to get a row counter and a stitch mark to mark the beginning of your row. And then you can just say, okay, in every even numbered row, I have to slip pearlwise and with the yarn in front. And in every odd numbered row, I slip uh, with the yarn in back so you don't get confused. And last but not least, one thing you really should be aware. The double stocking knit stitch is quite the yarn eater because you're essentially skipping every second stitch. You will have to cast on almost twice as many stitches compared to standard stocking knit stitch. Otherwise your scarf will end up really really narrow and that's probably not what you want. On the 
plus side, it will be twice as warm as well, so perfect for winter wear. Anyway, that's it. That's how you knit the double stockinette stitch. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss any new videos. Happy knitting!